Vietnamese twentieth century modern architecture is a fascinating topic that reflects the country's rich history and culture. Today we will explore the development of modern architecture in Vietnam starting with the early influences and traits that shape and movement and ending with examples of iconic buildings that represent this area. So, the roots of Vietnamese modern architecture can be tracked back to French colonial period in the red 19th to early 20th centuries. During this time, French architectures bossed with them the blue arch style, which was characterized by grandiose buildings with ornate facades and high ceilings. This style was evident in many public buildings constructed during this period, such as the Hanoi Opera House, 1911, and the Ho Chi Minh City Central Post Office, 1891-1895. However, in, this, in the years following Vietnam's independence from French rule in 1954, there was a shift away from the blue art style towards a more functionalist and minimalist approach. This change was lately influenced by the introduction of modernist architecture from the United States and European, which emphasized from following function and this use of new material like steel and reinforced concrete. One of the most significant architects this early modernist movement was Nguyen Jin Sun, who was already influenced before returning to Vietnam to work on numerous public buildings, including the Hanoi Medical University in 1960 and Sangon Tax Trade Center 1993. His designs were characterized by green lines simple forms and use of natural light. Another prominent figure is the early modernist movement was Ngo Vet Tu. Who was studied in French and worked for several on several notable projects including the Tomb Tim Tunnel 2000 and the National Conference Center 2014. His design was known for the both use of color and dynamic sculpture form. It following decades, Vietnamese experience rapid urbanization and economic growth, leading to a bomb in construction and development. This presented an opportunity for architects to experiment with new forms and technologies, result in a revised range of styles and approaches. One of example, one of example of this is Batsko Financial Tower in Ho Chi Minh City, which was completed in 2010 and is one of the tallest buildings in Vietnam, designed by American architect Carlos Sapata. The tower's distinctive chef and facades were inspired by the lotus flower, a symbol of quality and enlightenment in Vietnamese culture. Today Vietnamese architecture Today Vietnamese architects continue to incorporate traditional elements into their designs with also putting the boundaries of modern architects. For example the Nam Naman district resort in Da Nang combines traditional touch groups with a modern minimalist artistics. Overall, Vietnam, overall, Vietnam's modern architecture during the 20th century is still considered beautiful today due to its ability to blend traditional Vietnamese design elements with modern architectural style. 
podcast is done for today see you bye